So they're making jokes like it's funny. They're making the same connections in which I made. Osama, Obama, Hussein, Hussein. And people of color have been speaking on this for years. Years. I do need a haircut and a line. Line it up. So listen, let's go back in time. About eight years before anybody started running for president. Al Gore was suiting up, getting ready to go in, and everyone was talking. Colin Powell, Colin Powell, former Secretary of State, former Joint Chiefs of Staff, military guru, America's most awesome, nice guy. Colin Powell. I say that John McCain picks Colin Powell. Colin Powell will be. If John McCain picked uh, Condoleezza Rice Condoleezza Rice will be if oh, here's slightly baby if Colin Powell had a ran for president he would have been the president everybody on the planet was in agreement with Colin Powell Colin Powell said no. Why? If Colin Powell, who knows everything about our military, who knows everything about our government, Colin Powell says no because of death threats. Colin Powell did not want to be the president of America because he feared for his life. Colin Powell almost nine years ago feared for his life because of threats. Why? He's black. Colin Powell said no because he was black. He knows there's a radical something out there who wants to shut his ass down. Down. So now, fast forward to now, you got Liz uh, Troller laughing and joking, calling Obama Osama. Like to kill them both if we had. She said it. Look at this video. And I try I picked this video for one reason. It was not just a snippet of this woman speaking. I didn't want to take what she said out of context. I saw Hillary. I saw what Hillary said. But I'm not going to give her the opportunity to have me comment on her. This woman, this guy right here, yeah. I'm going to swing at these bastards. America should not feel as if, you know, we give this guy or that guy a chance, then uh, fuck it, we'll kill him. Is that how it works? That in a day and age like we live in now, that somebody is just gonna say we're gonna take pot shots at someone. And like I said at the beginning of this video, we spoke about this. We spoke about this from the first time he decided to to run for president. We've all said that if he got to the point, somebody would just try to kill him. But now, his competition is saying it. Now, these people over at Fox News are full of shit. You know that. And I know it. They're slated one way or the other. Now, for the first time in the history, in the history, our news coverage is so saturated with what these guys want and what those guys want. There's no real news anymore. You get a bunch of personalities on a show and they can say what the fuck they want to. And they don't care about neither one of the candidates. Nor you. 
News is supposed to be informative and teach somebody something. These people are asking people to take pot shots. Getting back to Colin Powell, who said no. Why do you think Colin Powell said no when the world was begging him to take over? Govern us all, they said, Mr. Powell. You can do it. You can do it. He said no. He would have won. He would have smashed Bush real bad. death threats. Colin Powell did not feel safe in the United States of America and he ran the United States Army. He knows security and he said no. But Barack Obama he's going to try it. He thinks America has woken up and they're ready for change. But these people on Fox News and Vice President Hillary Clinton, I said it. Dumbass gonna choose that motherfucker anyway. You know he will. That'd be stupid. He choose her, she will have him shot down in 48 hours. He been took the oath and got shot down on the way to the limo. Shit. Did she be taking the oath right there? Oh, let's not waste the party. Brock had so earth winning fire. Mm. Listen. The moral of this story I'm saying is America always advertises before it does something. If you sit back and look at the news and watch the things around you, there's always an advertisement before something happens. And I said last week some stupid shit is going to happen by Wednesday. Take it, I said it was going to be something that had something to do with the borders of some Mexican people, some more Mexican drama, but it wasn't. Something stupid happened, all right? Yeah, it did. People making dumbass statements and shit. We were thinking it. Don't, don't, don't be stupid and believe that we weren't. We were all thinking it. And it took his competition to say it. Getting back to Colin Powell. This man could have been the president of the United States of America, but he didn't. He did not feel safe in this country. And that was almost nine years ago. He didn't, he didn't feel safe. And he ran our military. And he was all up in our government. He did not feel safe in his own country to run for president. So Barack is taking his chances. Barack pretty much won the nomination, but Hillary ain't going to give it up. Life itself for Barack will change. I hope nobody would be dumb enough to, to kill him. I hope they want to use him for an example. An old man once told me, before a black man becomes the president of the United States of America, it will have a hole in it big enough to fly an airplane through it. That's what somebody told me when I was 13 years old. I'm 40 years old right now. We got airplanes running in the buildings. We got uh, chasing people all over the world and shit. It probably is time for a black man to be the president of the United States of America. But is this the right black man? I don't think so. But that's just my opinion. I'm one person. I would have voted for J.T. Watts. I would have voted for Alan Keyes. I would have voted for Colin Powell. I will not vote for Barack Obama for several different reasons. One is his name. His name is linked to some shit we're fighting. He's been set up. He has been set up to take the fall. The thing is, no one expected him to get this far. No one expected him to, to be... Actually, he probably is a good choice. But nobody expected him to make it this far. So what I want to say is this. If America's going down the tubes and you want to blame somebody for it, Go ahead and let this man be president and blame all this shit on him. Eight years from now, four years from now, everybody will say how bad Barack Obama fucked up when he was a president. You see, this is why there's never been a black president before. Give them their excuse and let that shit be over with. And maybe the next time somebody black stands up to the plate, somebody won't scream, you might get assassinated. 
But until then, the world has been too 